So let's do an example using the method of minors to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Or a 3, yeah, a 3 by 3 matrix. So say I give you this 3 by 3 determinant. And I want you to expand across the first row. So I want you ex to expand across these three numbers. Now for the method of minors, the first thing you should do is to write the three values of the first row. And then what you want to do is next to the values you want to write the associated minor. Now let's recall what you do with the minor is, if you, for example, if you want to find the minor of 1, you find its place in the matrix, and then you get rid of the row and the column, or yeah, the row and the column where the element belongs, and you write what's left over, which is a 2 by 2 determinant. So I can make that line better. So what's left over for 1 is 0, negative 1, 1, and 1. So now that we've got that, let's find the minor for 3. So again, for 3, you find the element, and then you get rid of the row that it's in and the column that it's in, and you write the, the values left over in a 2 by 2 determinant. So 2, 4 is the first column. 1, 1 is the last column. And then finally, we do it again for negative 2. So negative 2 is right here, and the row that it's in is the first row, and the column that it's in is the last column, so we get rid of that. And what's left over is 2, 4 is the first column, and then 0, negative 1 is the last column. Finally, we think of the sign array. So let me just rewrite that over. Finally, in order to connect these, we have to recall the sign array. So remember how you write out the sign array is that you do a 3x3 three three determinant, but instead of numbers, you put signs. You start with a plus on the top left, and then you alternate across the row and down the column, and then you continue alternating. So it's going to be plus minus plus in the first row, minus plus minus in the second row, plus minus plus in the third row. So now using that, since we're expanding across the first row, we know that the sign array tells us that the signs should go plus, minus, plus. So the signs are going to be like so. So now we've pretty much set up the determinant, and now what's left over is just to solve. So let's simplify this, shall we? So we have 1 times the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, which is found by cross-multiplying these two and then subtracting one from the other. So in this case, it would be the cross multiplication of 0 and 1, 0 times 1, and then negative 1 times 1, and you want to subtract them. Then for 3, you want to do the same thing to find the determinant. So 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1, and then finally you want plus minus 2, and then the determinant of this, so um, 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, minus 0 times 4, which is 0, because remember, anything times 0 is going to be 0. So now we have something a little bit less messy, but we can fix that up. So 0 times 1 is going to give us 0. So in here, this is just going to become 1 times negative, negative, negative times negative 1, which is just 1. The second term is going to simplify to 3 times 2 minus 4, so 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1, which is 2 minus 4. So we're going to get a negative 2 in this parentheses. And then finally, for the last one, we get minus 2 minus 0, which is just minus 2. So there we go. It's looking a little bit nicer, and now we can multiply before we add these terms together. So simplifying, 1 times 1 is 1 minus 3 times 2 is going to give us positive 6, minus 3 times negative 2, and then negative 2 times negative 2 is going to give us positive 4.
So finally adding these three together, 6 plus 4 plus 1 is going to give us 11. And 11 is the value of the determinant.